Hey beautiful, it's your Jimmy Lee. In case you don't know me, I am a fashion designer that lived his life to try to dress the best of the best, including you, and make you feel your best. This show is going to be about you making changes. So I hope you enjoy it. So stay tuned. And in the very end, I'm going to give you a suggestion that everybody should change and everybody should do. Stay tuned. Today's segment is about all about fashion and you and making changes now that we're done with COVID and the fall is coming. So how do we change our fashion, our fashion opinion, our sense, our way of being so quickly when the weather just changes? Easy. There's a few things you can do. One, do what I do and get a haircut. Go from long to short, from short to shorter, from blonde to brunette to brunette to redhead. Add highlights, add extensions, add whatever you like to make that change. Seasons now are changing. You can feel it. It's happening, my friend. So let's change with it. So what do you do? Let's talk about it. So you can make changes like your hair. What I like is our skin goes through a lot. So I do a facial. I do a facial myself once a week and I get a little clay stuff and I lay it on my face. You can Google what is good for your skin and what you know people have used successfully by looking at the stars. Like did you get five stars, four stars. Facial stuff on your face is important. But I spend a couple bucks and I go to a place and I get a complete facial opens up all my pores, it distracts, it, it abstracts, and it makes my face strong and beautiful. It gives it a glow. That's good for change. So I see people all the time, they're constantly coming up to me and they're like, you know, I'm stuck in this rut. What do I do for fashion? What you do is that you make small changes, baby changes that all end up to a really good footstep. You know, little by little by little. So a haircut is one, a facial is another, a manicure is another. What you do is different things to put you into the mood for change. With the weather changing, do colors need to change? I hear that question all the time. Some colors. The pastel colors, a lot of the white colors, yes. But when you go into a lot of vibrant colors, the last season. When do you know when it's right? When you don't feel right about it. You can't always go by fashion. And believe me, as a designer, you can't always go by me. Because I read a book. I go by a guideline. And that's because that's how I create, is knowing what exactly I should be doing for that season. But you can step out of that box anytime you want and make these little changes. What I do is I change my fragrance. So whatever clone I'm wearing, whatever I'm doing for my body, lotion and potion, I go from lighter to a tiny bit heavier. Especially with lotions, I do stuff that my skin can absorb all day long, not just in the beginning because our skin gets drier. So these changes, the haircut, your nails, your face, your, your, your lotions and potions are all baby steps to get us ready for the next season. Now, as a designer, I think that it's fun to, to experiment with colors and styles as, as the weather changes. But don't be pushing the flip-flops. and don't, Once the weather starts getting colder, your feet need to be covered. You gotta change with the weather. So this video is about you getting ready for the next season. And it's happening. You, when the kids start getting ready for school, then you understand that that's when your time to turn around and start getting ready for you. I want some suggestions, I want some questions, so please go on the little box on the bottom and ask us stuff. 
say, well, what do you think I should do? My hair is this. I will give you every answer to every question the way I feel that's best for you. I love you guys. I want you to have a great season to come. But remember, we have to change. And I hope you like mine. Let me know. <laughs> I like it because I love change. I love just going with it and feeling it. So in the very end, I'm going to give you a suggestion about change. And it's a, a product that I use uh, every single day. And I'm going to give you a little hint. Um, has to do with your hair, your teeth, your nails, your body. It kind of helps you mentally, kind of helps you completely. Stay tuned to the end and I'll give you my suggestion. Hey guys, a good thing to start off with is collagen. This is what should go in your body. This is what I put in my cappuccino every day. The good news is you don't need to do it in the morning. You can do it anytime. Now, Jennifer Anacine is the speaker or the, the speaker for this product. But I don't just go by that. I go by what thousands and thousands of people were saying about it. Five stars all the way around. I feel the difference in my skin, my hair, my nails. I feel better with it. It's one scoop once a day in your coffee. I put it in my cappuccino. I'll have a close-up on this so you know what it is. That's my suggestion to you. I'm giving you all my hands, guys. I love you. Please remember to subscribe. Tell all your friends that this is a fashion from not just the outside, but from within. We're here to make you feel get better or feel good all the way around. God bless, guys, and I love you.